What's up, ladies and gents? Ben Pekulski coming at you. Um, Going to give you some insights into a very popular phenomenon, fad diet called carb backloading, created by a gentleman named John Kiefer, who I've become um, uh, associates with, um, acquaintances, I guess. Uh, very brilliant man, very, very brilliant man. Very well read, very well thought out. Um, really good knowledge with um, human physiology at the cellular level. So you got to respect a guy like that. And the theories he come, he's come out with probably have a great deal of legitimacy and thought behind them. Uh, so thank you, John Kiefer, for introducing us to carb backloading. And the way I actually discovered carb backloading was very ironic. Um, I was, after the Olympia last year, 2012, um, I was doing a tour in Australia and doing five-day hypertrophy camps and teaching people about nutrition, about co concepts of nutrition, how they, do, they should apply their nutrition to their training. And people started asking what type of nutrition I follow. And I started just kind of to describe what I do. And I said, you know, I, I eat most of my carbs late in the day. Uh, I usually train midday or late day. And, you know, all the morning is no carb, high fat, maybe some vegetables, um, you know, high fat, high protein, high vegetables. And then after my training, for a good four hours, I kind of eat all the carbs that I really want. And then that's it for the day. Maybe some carbs before bed. Uh, and people go, oh, but yeah, that's called carb backloading. And I said, well, what's carb? I've never heard of carb backloading before. What's carb backloading? So apparently someone had taken the exact nutrition that I had kind of designed in my brain as being optimal and already put a name to it, which, you know, thank you, John Kiefer, for that. So the idea behind carb backloading is really, really simple. It's basically um, you, no carbs throughout the day to optimize insulin sensitivity, and then you train and you eat your carbs after training. So what's the logic? What's the reasoning behind that? Uh, most people say, well, you need carbs in the morning. You know, you, that's what you need, and that's what your body uses, and that's where you're most insulin sensitive. That's absolutely right. That's how, that is actually when you're most insulin sensitive. There's two times. It's first thing in the morning and after you train. Um, so why are you most insulin sensitive in the morning? Or how, why shouldn't you eat carbs? Well, um, the idea of being insulin sensitive is a really good thing for most people if you have a, a optimal body fat range. So if you're under 10%, 12, maybe, maybe 12, I'd say probably 10, eat carbs in the morning because your body uses uh, sugars while your body's insulin sensitive. Um, for most people though, believe it or not, your fat cells are just as uh, sensitive to insulin as your muscle cells are in the morning. So um, by eating carbs, you're arbitrarily going to distribute that carb, whether it be into fat cells or into or those nutrients, into fat cells or into, into muscle cells. So that's not optimal. I mean, on top of that, you're actually gonna, as soon as you eat carbs in the morning, you actually change the way your body uses nutrients for the day. It's called glycation is essentially your body's gonna be less effective at using nutrients for the rest of the day or less uh, sensitive to carbohydrate. So when you go into the workout, when you want your insulin sensitivity to be highest, it's gonna be poor. So the idea behind carb backloading is you keep your insulin sensitivity really high through the day by not having any carbohydrates or as little as possible. So that way when you really need it is when you're training and after training, you want that maximum uptake of nutrients, you're gonna get it because it's still gonna be there. By having carbs in the morning, you're going to be more likely to be insulin resistant later in the day and thereby um, accumulating more fat. Insulin resistance is essentially your cell's inability to take up sugar and they're going to actually turn that so the sugar is going to continue to circulate in the blood and the body's going to realize it's circulating and store it as fat. Uh, so we don't want that. We want to avoid that. Um, so we wake up in the morning. What do we eat? We eat high protein, high fat, and some vegetables. Uh, we want to fuel the muscles, we want to fuel our brain so our focus is better, so our energy is better, so we're not getting a lot of peaks and valleys through the day. Uh, and you know, Charles Paul can say just eating nuts. I'm not the biggest fan of nuts, other than the fact, his suggestion is it's um, high in choline, which is a great, um, uh, I don't know if it's a stimulant for us, it's a stimulant to your brain, essentially acetylcholine, so it helps energy levels stay a little more consistent through the day. Uh, for body composition, I'm not the biggest fan of nuts. I like nuts for brain function, but not necessarily for body composition. Nuts just kind of seem to be one of those fats that can really help, that can really add fat to your body really quickly. Um, and people tend to overeat them. So especially nut butters and things like that. Unless I'm trying to bulk, I avoid them. If I, so if I'm dieting, there's no nuts, no nut butter. But off season, you know, I'm going nuts with really whatever I want to eat because I'm not too worried if I get to 10 or 12% body fat. Uh, that's that. So that's, what, that's uh, my view on carb backloading. Um, the other thing you want to mention is the simple fact that the longer you can go in the morning without eating carbohydrates, the more your body is, the longer your body is going to be using fat for fuel. So if I can go essentially the first six to eight hours of the day using all, or eating only fats and proteins, you're most likely to only be using fats for fuel or at least spend more time using fats for fuel. So thereby more likely to use more body fat as energy. Uh, that's that. John Kiefer, thanks very much for your contribution and carb backloading. And Ben Pekulski, out.